guys want to see something awkward? Ooh. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> it's like having an ex-girlfriend and a girlfriend in the same room. <laughs> same spot. Yeah. I said, I know you and Crawford David. Oh, yeah, I get you. We're gay, that's the joke. Dude, is it gonna, this is gonna hurt to peel this off. It's gonna hurt your fingers? Yeah, it's gonna, well, I mean, I'm, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely. get all the shit off. Dude, this thing is gonna look so clean underneath, though. Like now, oh, it. Justin. On it, on it. Oh, the full commit right out the bat. God damn, that hurts. Oh, dude. Official. It is official now. Bye. Bye, -bye. So. Since I traded in the uh, the GTR yesterday, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, the dealership's like, that's a cool wrap. How much to unwrap it? <laughs> to fucking <Awesome>. yeah. <laughs> so they asked us to unwrap it and put it on factory wheels, so we're taking off the, the variant, um, like super nice wheels that I just got for the car. I get to keep them though, which is nice. They're gonna give you money to unpeel it, unwrap it for you? They better, they better yeah. pay. Yeah. They better pay, the top dollar. There's your, uh, Fuel controller right there. How long does it take you to do this GTR? Yeah, you, he ended up like wrapping it two or three times on certain panels. Gray's first day here. <laughs> You're putting your application, my guy. The the easier you get these corners, you probably pop it. Oh man. My favorite part was the black ass, you know. I like a nice black ass. You know what I'm saying, Gray? Fat black ass. I don't know, you're one of those good old Christian boys, aren't you? Oh yeah, man, I go to church every what Sunday. What is this shirt? Oh. You represent Atlanta, so straight out of Atlanta, and based out of Atlanta. Go oh, oh yeah, out. with um, fucking Don Glover? No, that's just Atlanta, never mind. Young Atlanta, oh, Instagram it. It's for a good cause? Yeah. You're not raping anybody yeah, anymore? That, yeah, stop raping people, man. <laughs> hey, we got this stop new- Stop all that goddamn rape! <laughs> stop all that rape! <laughs> I'll give Justin this, dude. These wraps hold up really well. I know it was only on there for a couple of days. <laughs> this thing, pulling this thing off sucks. I really want my 99 Civic chromed out, please. I have $7. How dare you? this roll aluminum full, bro. Shoot. Jesus, dude, it does actually really kind of look like a pit bull's, yeah, like big ass fucking nuts just hanging out the back. <laughs> big ass turbos. Ooh. Broken down for almost everything. Oh, yeah, I gotta. Got He's live, I'm doing video stuff. You guys know Shaq. Link for his Instagram is below in the description. But they got all the wrap pulled off. So tomorrow I'll bring my wheels up here and swap them out for the OEM wheels because they, believe it or not, they don't want them, which is crazy because these are really nice, really expensive wheels, but I kind of worked on it anyway. I was like, give me the wheels back. So they're like, yeah. So goodbye, shitbox V6. Goodbye, twin turbo, non-American freedom. Goodbye, Ricardo racing seats. Ah. Look at Shaq's glowing car. Dude, it, like, it's, it's reflective camouflage. Ugh. It's aggressive. What do you think about the new room setup? Got everything kind of, kind of tucked away over there. A little, little less, little less crowded. We got all this, all this room for you to do activities, huh? Huh? And today we are not going to be taking the ZL1. We're going to be taking the truck. I have to be an adult. Thank God everything.
everything's not super rusty, otherwise that would make this whole process a little bit nerve-wracking. All right, so the dealership wants the OEM wheels for the GTR. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Which is actually very nice because it frees up some more room in here. Well, they fit. Well, this is fine, I'll back up. I'll back up, that's fine. I'll back up. Look at this guy. Fuck off. What's up, haircut? What's up, guy? <laughs> haircut, fresh, is this what college does to you? Jesus Christ, man, fuck like off. Five minutes. Not enough about the Camaro. Let's fucking fix the Dizzy. So as you guys know, Laura looped out the Dizzy, the, the, Dizzy, the DRZ, uh, scraped the tail light, completely fuckered this last piece right here. Uh, it's a pretty simple fix. You just pull this bolt out from here, pull the whole thing out, you gotta chop the wiring and reinstall it. And like basically just, just splice the wiring. It takes no time at all, I've just been too lazy. And then I got another cover for the uh, other side. Did they get black? I thought I got gold. Did they get black? I guess it got black. It's just a uh, crankcase cover and a clutch case cover for the RZ. This saved my whole crankcase and clutch uh, last time I was able to ride it home. If I didn't have this, it would have been busted. Should be a pretty easy fix. Just pull out the two screws the top of here, uh, some bolts up here, should be pretty easy. <laughs> Oh, look at it, dude. She fucking nailed this light. But I designed this bike to get drops. Like, the whole reason I, I wanted this DRZ is because, you know, it's kind of a pig. It's kind of like a tough bike to break, you know, and it's cheap to fix. When it comes to this kind of stuff, I, I kind of am a savage, and I don't care about making the DRZ look super pretty, you know? Because it's a dirt bike. It's meant to be fucking wheelied and looped and shit. And then this is just the the light, the plate already comes with the damn bike. On a side note, <clears throat> I saw the new Terminator, or not Terminator, uh, Predator movie, and it sucked ass. Let me go and tell you about how much that movie sucked. If you're like me and you're an original Predator fan, even the Predator vs. Alien series wasn't bad. Like the first two were okay. But man, that new one sucked so much ass. It blew dicks, and not in the cool way. I've never wanted to go back in time so bad just to unwatch a movie. I wish that movie never came out. I wish it never existed. And if you like the movie, go fuck yourself. So they bring some sort of predator monster who wants to be autistic, and that's not a joke, that's not offense. I'm not trying to be offensive towards people with autism. I know there's people with autism that, wants, that watches my videos, and I appreciate you guys. But like the predator wants to evolve into like autistic, like he legitimately that's what he he. So they try to they try to like kidnap this this kid who's really smart, but he's Aspergers or something like that. They they say he's he has Aspergers in the movie. They really do a terrible job of portraying what bullying is like for people with Aspergers or autism. And I think that was probably my biggest problem with it is that. They really made it seem like it's like, oh wow, they're just kind of mean to people like that. Like, no, that's not how it is at all. That plate's a little dickered, but I'm not gonna fuck with it, to be honest. They just did such a weird job with that movie. They didn't do a good job, a weird one. I left my wire cutters at the shop, so I have teeth. It's the next, next best thing. <laughs> teeth actually make really good wire strippers. Oh yeah, and then they bring this like, Alien dog creature. Oh my god. There we go. Wires all stripped, teeth are all clean. Don't even get me started on the alien predator dogs. I'm still mad about that. Spoiler alert, everybody dies. End of movie. Everyone cool dies. How about that? Can you guys live with that? Stupid predator dogs are like bark bark bark. It was so bad. I'm so disappointed in how they did this and like Oh, just not good. Just don't go into it with like good attitude. Just the audacity, you know? I mean like they turned this this series, the Predator series, into this this shit fest of like try hard acting and cussing. It's like the main character 
wasn't like the best actor, which is fine, you know, like it's it's a B action movie, but you know, the Predator is such a big name now, the budget should have been there. The visual, the visual graphics were pretty weak, I'm not gonna lie. And unrelated though, if you've made it this far into the video, check out the new t-shirts that are for sale now. It's the uh, Dickhead Garage t-shirts. I got so many requests for that t-shirt that I just made it and like hope you guys like it. It's for sale now, I put a link in the description. You guys can buy it if you want. <clears throat> Be a part of Dickhead Garage. If you're wondering why I'm not doing like a crazy over the top job of uh, the wiring, it's because there's a good chance that it'll get damaged again, like loop it out or something like that again. You know, I do, I, I haven't done any wheelies in a while, so, you know, there's always that chance. I guess I should have checked to make sure everything worked before I cinched it up, but the wires are literally the exact same. They're color coded. I'm assuming it'll work, but then again, you know what they say, don't assume anything. It makes an ass out of you and me. Yay. That battery is almost dead. Never mind, the bad news is, is I brought my RTV to the shop and I don't have any here, so I'm gonna go get some later, not today, and uh, finish it up. But I'm gonna go do wheelies in the driveway. The good news is, is that it still does wheelies. The bad news is, is that I'm pretty sure that my Korean neighbors hate me. All right, that's it. PRZ's good to go, we can ride it again as soon as I put the plate on, which I'm not gonna do right now, but we're good.